The Faction Showdown event is now live in Modern Warfare 2, and with this, there's two new limited time animated camos you're able to unlock. There's the Blood Cell camo, and there's the Polish camo. How this works is different than all the other Modern Warfare 2 events we've had, so we're going to break down exactly how the event works, how to complete it quickly. It only takes about 30 minutes, and we're going to show you exactly how you get the brand new camos. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to unlock that subscribe button. Once you're in game, you want to go up here to the events tab. You're then going to be given the option whether you want to play for Task Force 1 for 1 or Shadow Company and this is going to affect the challenges you're currently doing. Then if you scroll down, you can see the different challenges here. So for Task Force 1 for 1, the first challenge is to get 50 operator kills. This is so simple. Just play shipment. I shouldn't have to tell you how to get 50 operator kills. If you don't own Modern Warfare 2, there's still a pretty easy way to do this. If you're a free-to-play player, I'd recommend the Lockdown Warzone mode. This is a small section of Vondel with respawns and objectives, so all people funnel in one area, making these challenges pretty easy. If you don't like Lockdown, it can be done in plunder resurgence is also pretty easy i do think lockdown is going to be the quickest for all these challenges but if you own modern warfare 2 obviously shipments the way to go almost all these challenges can be done in a single game of shipment the next challenge for task force one for one is one of the harder challenges it's probably going to take you the longest for task force one for one get 10 operator long shot kills with battle rifles Going into hardcore makes this really easy. You can get it done in one game of hardcore. Or you can go into Warzone and do it on lockdown. Ground War is also a good option. For me personally, I use the Cronin Squall. I still think that's one of the best battle rifles for long shots. If you're doing it in Warzone, the TAC V might be a better option for you. Now, unfortunately, this challenge is a little bit bugged. I personally had issues with this. I had to do about 20 long shots before it unlocked. I had zero progression after playing game after game, and eventually it just unlocked. I went from zero progression to 10 progression immediately. So if you're going in game, you're getting long shots and it's not counting, it's saying zero at the end of the game, just keep going. It will eventually unlock. You just gotta keep getting, keep getting long shots. And at some point it will pop up. Everyone who's done that so far, it's happened for it. It's just gonna take more than 10 long shots and the progress might not count here in the menu. The next challenge is get 40 ADS operator kills with assault rifles. Super simple. This is gonna get you a vehicle skin. Then you've gotta get three operator kills with melee weapons. Put on a melee weapon, take out three enemies, and you're going to get a Task Force 141 charm for that. Then for the final challenge, execute a finishing move. To do this, you want to walk up behind an enemy, hold down whatever your melee button is. This is then going to start a finishing move. And if you fully perform it and take the enemy out, you're going to finish this. I personally did this on shipment. It can be a little bit hard because shipment gets pretty crazy with, you know, it being so small. If you're struggling with this, it's super simple to do this. If you head into Warzone, all you want to do is down an enemy. And if he doesn't have any teammates nearby, you can just walk up behind him. And you should easily be able to finish him off. Once you've completed all of these challenges, you're going to unlock a mastery blueprint. This is a protoon bass P. This is what it looks like in game. Pretty underwhelming. This isn't really something I'm going to use. The Bass P already has a ton of blueprints in the game. If you've ever bought a bundle, you probably have a Bass P with tracers. If you've ever bought a battle pass, you probably have a better looking Bass P. It does have a cool looking Amot V4. And yes, you are going to be able to use this scope on other weapons. So that's kind of cool. Now, moving on to the Shadow Company challenges, just like Task Force 1 for 1, the first challenge is to get 50 operator kills. Then you've got to get 15 operator kills while focused with a sniper. I still did this on shipment. I just sat in one of the corners, held my breath with a sniper, took out a bunch of enemies. This works really well with the brand new DLC sniper. That one's really good on shipment. This one seems to be bugged just like the long shots. For me, I had to get more than 15 and sometimes at the end of the game, they weren't tracking. But if you just keep going for this, eventually it's going to unlock. You just want to hold your breath with a sniper, get 15 kills, and then potentially a few more if it doesn't unlock. The next one is to get 15 operator kills from behind with an SMG. This is going to get you a skin for the brand new vehicle and probably take the longest out of all the Shadow Company challenges. Getting kills from behind can take a while, especially if the enemy teams using riot shields are just rushing. But on shipment, I just flanked around. I hit fired quite a bit. I was using the PDSW, only took a couple of games, but you just want to find enemies, take them from behind, and that's going to count for this. The next challenge is to get 10 operator kills with launchers. For this, just use an RPG. This is going to get you a Shadow Company charm. Then you've got to get five operator kills with lethal equipment. Uh, use any lethal equipment you want. Getting five kills with lethal equipment is completely trivial. This is going to get you a tier skip. Once you complete all of these, you're going to get this master blueprint down here for the SAB. This is what it looks like, and it's super forgettable. You can't even really tell this is a blueprint. It's got a few Shadow Company emblems on it if you're really looking for it, but this is not something I'm going to use. And you can switch your teams as many times as you want. So don't worry when you first pick a team, if you pick Task Force 1 for 1 and you want to get some of the Shadow Company rewards, 
you can just go to this menu, switch back and forth an unlimited amount of times, completing all of the challenges, getting all of these rewards. So what happens now? As you can see, we've completed the event. I have done all 10 of the challenges, but I still don't have either one of the camos. This is where things are very different than other events. If we go back up here, you can see these are faction victory rewards. For Task Force 1 for 1, we've got this soap skin, we've got the polished camo, then we've got a battle pass token. Then for Shadow Company, we've got this operator skin, the blood cell camo, and a battle pass token. You're only going to get one of these camos. It depends on which team has the most amount of kills by the end of the event, which at the time of recording this is in 11 days. So if Task Force 1 for 1 wins, as long as you have all of the Task Force 1 for 1 challenges completed at the end of the event, you're going to get these rewards if Task Force 1 for 1 has the most kills. However, if Shadow Company has the most kills, these are the rewards you're going to get, but you're only going to get them if you have all of the Shadow Company challenges completed. So no, you're not going to be able to get both of these camos unless they change how it works. You're only going to get one of these camos, but you are able to guarantee that you do at least get one of these. So I'd recommend completing all 10 of the challenges even if you just want the blood cell camo, because there's a chance that Task Force 1 for 1 wins. And if you go all in on Shadow Company at the end of the event, if Task Force 1 for 1 wins, uh, you're going to be out of luck. You're just not going to get a camo. So I've done both of them, but personally, I prefer the blood cell camo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my team back over to Shadow Company. So now in game while I'm playing, all of my kills are going to count for Shadow Company, helping them out. Right now, Shadow Company is in the lead. You can see here, Shadow Company's got a tiny little bit of lead, but this is the first day. Anything can change. I'm hoping by the end of the event, this is the camo we all get. Uh, and it kind of sucks. It feels weird for them to make two separate animated camos. Like you can clearly see that both of the camos are in the game. They're both animated and they're both working. But the way this event works and the way it reads off, only one of these camos will ever be obtainable. Only one of these camos will be unlocked and the other one, no one will get. Maybe they'll do it as a future challenge, or maybe it will be a different challenge later on in this season. I hope so. It feels like they went through a lot of work to make a camo that will never be usable in game, except for people who use unlock tools. So that's the entire faction community challenge, all the different rewards you can get and how it works. Let me know out of the two camos, which one would you prefer to get the polished camo or the blood cell camo? If you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to unlock the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.